A question we often get this time of year is when should I apply my pre-emergence herbicide? The best way to schedule this application is by monitoring soil temperatures. Uh, we typically say that crabgrass will begin germinating when soil temperatures reach 55 to 60 degrees uh, for several days in a row in spring. Uh, this typically won't occur until mid-April uh, to around the first week of May. Now because we want to have this application in place prior to crabgrass germination, we recommend making the application uh, when soil temperatures at a one to two inch depth reach 55 degrees for several days. There are many products available for pre-emergence crabgrass control. However, the most common uh, include prodiamine, pendimethalin, or dithiopyr. Uh, in most years in Nebraska, each of these products are going to work similarly. One might outperform another on any given year, but in most cases, all of them will work equally well. Is that these products are, are commonly included uh, in fertilizer. And one thing that we really want to limit is excessive spring nitrogen fertilizer application to, to, to cool season turf grasses. Uh, we typically don't want to see any more than about three quarters of a pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet at this time of year in cool season turf. And so it's really important to select uh, your chosen product with as, low, as little fertilizer in the bag as possible so that you can be sure to apply the high labeled rate for maximum weed control without applying too much nitrogen. Another common product that we get lots of questions about is corn gluten meal. And while this product uh, may provide some pre-emergence activity, it's about 10% nitrogen. And so if you apply this product at the labeled rate of two, 20 pounds of product per thousand square feet, we're applying two pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet, which is excessive for cool season turf this time of year. Whichever product you choose, we recommend applying the high labeled rate according to the label specifications for maximum control. Uh, to get even better control or more consistent control throughout the year, we would recommend making a split application where you would apply one to two thirds the high labeled rate right now and then the other one third to half of the high labeled rate sometime in June. Now pre-emergence herbicides are not safe in cool season seed beds because they will prevent establishment of our desirable species as well. So if you have overseeded your lawn or if you plan to, make sure you select a product that is safe in a seed bed such as mesotrione or tupersan. So to summarize, don't worry if you haven't yet applied your pre-emergence herbicide for crabgrass control. There's still time and in most years we say you don't need to make the application until May 1st.